Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is from Universal's brand new theme park for the 2024, maybe 2025 season. Universal's Epic Universe. Now, we've been looking through the database um, network, I guess, and so is Screamscape to be exact. And we both end up, they found it, and I've ended up finding it as well on the database myself, on the trademark database. Uh, the trademark name for the hotel as part of the Epic Universe theme park. Now, before we talk about all the details via a Screamscape article, which I've linked in the description down below, please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this subscribe if you're new around here click notification bell see damage youtube video we're on the road to 3,000 subs and a million views we're nearly nearly there let's get to it as soon as possible also guys check the description down below where you can find the article google forms link where you can submit your own video ideas and the social media links so you can follow me on all social media platforms and for now guys let's have a look at the trademark's name for the hotel in the epic universe theme park scheduled to open in just a couple of years time so all the information, of course, is through a brand new um, hotel as part of the Epic Universe theme park. So Screamscape have reported that while searching through the trademark database, they've come across a new name filing for the Universal Studios theme parks. This one wasn't for a new attraction, but was instead clearly the intended name for their next hotel. The name Universal's Helios Grand Hotel was listed as being filed on April 6th, 2021. Universal has stayed away from buildings, hotels, and California Park and Studio, so for now we can only assume this name is intended for use at their next Orlando area hotel. After building new resort hotels at a rapid pace in Orlando for the past several years, the company seems to have been taking a brief break from it before the rise of COVID. The resort's next intended hotel was expected to be part of the new Universal's Epic Universe new theme park project. Uh, the new hotel is also clearly seen at the back of the aerial concept artwork for the new theme park. If we're to dig a little deeper into the name, Helios was a Greek titan who represents the movement of the sun across the sky. Each day, Helios was believed to leave his golden palace to climb aboard a chariot pulled by four winged steeds and fly east to west across the entire sky wearing a bright glowing crown that creates the blinding light of the sun in an aura around his head. The interesting thing is if you zoom in close into the hotel concept artwork, which I've been putting on your screen uh, all the way throughout this report and behind me during the intro and of course the next clip onwards, uh, you'll see what appears to be a bright golden figure in the garden at the front of the hotel, surrounded by a large golden halo of light along with the front of the hotel structure also bathed in a golden light. Clearly, it's also within the theme of the park name Epic Universe to have a celestial figurehead as the namesake for a resort hotel. So it seems like everything's pointing uh, towards the name Universal's Helios Grand Hotel being used for the brand new Universal's Epic Universe theme park. Let's share my thoughts on this wonderful new hotel. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Universal's Helios Grand Hotel, opening with Universal's Epic Universe in 2024 slash 2025. Uh, now, I, I, I'm just guessing, by the way, we're 2025. At the minute, it's still 2024. Uh, but Universal's Helios Grand Hotel. Now, obviously, this is going to be a very interesting uh, hotel and a very interesting uh, name. In terms of the name itself, Universal's Helios Grand Hotel. I like it. It gives a bit of a legendary kind of feel to it. It gives it an iconic feel to it. And I like how they've sort of gone with this Greek Titan character of, of Helios. Um, and they've sort of gone with that kind of market for this one. I mean, we can only assume the name will be for Epic Universe. Could put two and two together with the concept art and draw a conclusion from that. So, I feel like Helios Grand Hotel is a wonderful name for the hotel. I think it's uh, a great name. It suits the concept art for the hotel really, really well. Obviously, you can check out the concept art for yourselves on the internet. I'm sure it'll be around there somewhere. Um, and I'm really excited to see what else they're going to do with the Universal's Epic Universe theme park. So this is just a small update, this one, just to give you an idea of what the hotel's going to be called in the resort. Obviously, the, the, the hotel's sort of towards the back of the uh, park. Uh, it's sort of right at the back of the park and sort of, to, and then to the right, I think it's to the left or... 
it might like my right I think that's where towards like the fantastic beast and wizarding ministry of magic stuff is and then the other side is where you know you've got universal monsters on the other side and you sort of go towards Nintendo down that route as well so you know it, it, you know you got you got lands either side of this hotel or towards you the direction of this hotel and I feel like you know this would be a wonderful place to just enter throughout the park so I don't know it just feels like um, the hotels kind of like a a second entrance I guess because uh, obviously you've got the big grand entrance towards the front of the park and you've also got the hotel at the back of the park so maybe the hotel will provide a second entrance into the theme park and it's literally straight into the theme park uh, from the concept art so I feel like Universal's Epic Universe will have two entrances from the concept art as well uh, which we pretty much probably knew already but it, just in case anyone didn't recognize it or pick it out it looks like it's gonna be two entrances one at the front and the hotel entrance at the back so I think it's really really interesting it's I like the garden facade I like the garden front sort of in front of the hotel or sort of you know facade in the hotel at the back I feel like that's a great way to sort of welcome guests in because uh, I think it gives off again this iconic legendary facade look so I think again it gives it this heavenly presence in a way uh, so really exciting stuff there from Universal Epic Universe. We haven't had a lot of Epic Universe updates recently, but um, you know it's great to do another one today. Uh, but there we go, guys. I'll bring you more updates in the future when we get more about the brand new theme park, Universal's Epic Universe, and any more about the construction or opening of Universal's Helios Grand Hotel. So there we go, guys. My name is Coast Child, Kitley on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an epic, tastic day. Wait, two positive words in one brand new word. Get it in the dictionary.